Hi, everybody. I'm like a second later more. Sorry about that. I usually try to, to be um, a few minutes ready ahead of time, but time got away from me. So um, today what I thought I would do is um, I want to share with you um, last weekend we did our over the border virtual spring social. So I thought I'd come and show you um, the make and takes from that so that you'll get excited for um, the upcoming class in April. And then also um, to also get you all excited for the fall social in September. So um, this is the over the border with Di and Marcy. And we do, um, we used to do a class a month and then um, the socials are two times a year because they're like a bigger event um, and, and more work to them. So hi, Pamela. Hi, Jeannie. And um, so I thought I would pop on and um, show you like what so that you can kind of get an idea um, what it is all about. So let me um, turn my phone and bang the door. Sorry about that. Okay, let me make sure you can see. All right. Hi, Ginny. Okay. All right, very, 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 very good. Okay, so the um, virtual, the over the border with Diana Marcy, virtual spring social. So what happens is, um, usually there's two or three stamp sets and, um, and then that's what everybody gets to um, do their make and take. So this time, everybody got Darling Donkeys. They also received Art Gallery and Snailed It. And then some people decided that they wanted the dies as well. So then, you know, they were able to add the dies and, um, but, um, they didn't need the dies because we put the little pieces in there as well as some some extra cardstock in case they did get the dies and then they could um, stamp, you know, ahead of time. Then they got their PDF and it's like 20 pages or something like that. So um, that gives them the, the make and takes and the supplies and everything. So they got that. I have the whole stack. And then they always have some little goodies um, that they get. So they all got one of the new blending sponges. They also got a gel pen. Now I always give a gel pen and um, just because I love to use them. So they got um, a little gel pen all decorated all so cute. They also got the fun little um, mini. I showed this the other day. Um, because this is the mini curvy die and this is actually retiring. So they had um, a little goodie in there and this also has the um, greeting from the hydrangea and one of the fun little heart charms. Look how cute that is hanging on there. And those are retiring too. So if you want to make something like this, it would make a cute, if you're doing a wedding, this would be a cute little, um, little present to put at each person's um, table. And then, let me move these out of the way. They also got this cute little box. And then inside here was um, the ribbon. And I took mine out to use it. Hold on a second. So everybody got the little, um, the twine. The um, snail mail twine. So that was tucked inside there. And then, of course, they got all the other embellishments that they needed and the other ribbons and stuff like that. Hi, Rhonda. So a few of you girls that are on the live today actually were um, part of it. And it's so fun to do. We do them through Zoom. And uh, Marcy's in Canada and I'm in the United States. My sister was there. She's here today, too. Hey, Jackie. And um, it is so cool because you get to see everybody through Zoom. And we, we chat and we, um, we talk and we stamp and then we take, so it's like a two, two hour session in the morning, then a two hour break, and then a two hour session in the afternoon to end it out. And it's perfect. 
Um, we also stream it. We have a private Facebook group just for the event, and we stream it in there because there are people that are shy. We were teasing. We were saying that they they like to stamp naked, so they didn't want to be on the Zoom. But some people are busy. So um, when we stream it into the private Facebook group, then the um, they can go back and watch. And even if they did do the day, you know, you might have missed something. So let me show you the cute make and takes. I won't like um, take a lot of time on them, but so this is a cute one right here. Hey there, friend with the donkey set. <clears throat> and the inside, I miss you. This one here, super cute, inspired by Heather Thomas. And they got the little doily, so I have showed you how to use the doily, and they use their new blending brushes. Then here's their twine, and they got the little um, matte dots, and then the inside of the card. And they didn't get full packs. They got quite a bit of the um, the bling. I know um, several of them, and I know my sister, she says, oh, I still have quite a few blings left. So this one's cute, too. And this combines the... Um, the snail die, because that's where the potion stamp shapes come from. And then the hee-haw and the inside. So this took advantage of um, the, the flower, now I can't remember, but it was a DSP from Celebration. Here's another super cute one. Now this combined the, um, the, the floral stamp set in the greeting as well as the flowers. So I like to use the, um, combine the sets. They have three stamp sets, so they have lots of stuff um, to use and um, have fun with. And then they use their own inks and their own stamps. And look how fun this one is. Oh my gosh. And they even got a couple of the wobbles, so they even were able to make this cute. Look at Marcy, so fun. And I put some speckles on his belly. I, I love to use it, and we were teasing because I like to use a gel pen, and Marcy loves her wink of Stella. So it was so funny. You could tell, like, I'm always putting gel pen, and she's always putting wink of Stella. So we're a great team together. Here's another cute one using um, the Hydrangea DSP, and then the pretty ribbon. I love the little donkey, he's such a cutie. All right, and then on to the floral set. And this just shows you don't have to, um, you don't have to um, do a lot of coloring and to make something be so, so pretty. Cause look how gorgeous this is. And it uses that painted texture um, embossing folder, more of the matte dots. And then there's that twine that they used. I just tied it around the flower. Here's another one, a fun Z fold card or Z, because it looks like a Z when you look at it from the from the top. Super cute. And it uses that DSP that goes with the floral. And here's another another one that uses that painted texture. Love it, love it. And now I can't remember if that painted texture, if we're keeping that, isn't that bad that I, I lost my, um, I lost my memory on that one. I'll have to get the catalog out. So here's another cute one. This time the strip goes up side, up this way. Usually, you know, we always put them straight down, but it just kind of goes along with the line with that one there. And this one was inspired by Linda Heller. And then we just tucked this underneath here. So it almost is like um, the Levi jeans. Remember the red tag that was on the Levi jeans? I don't know even if they still do that or even if they still make Levi jeans. I don't even know. I can't even get into my jeans. I have uh, put on too much weight over the staying at home and all the cooking. This one was inspired by Rochelle Block. And this DSP is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. You just want to touch it. Like it looks like 
it sticks out like it just has such beautiful texture to it and then a little bit of gel pen on the words and then they got um they got those pearls so they used those and there's some of the ribbon they got so i think everybody had fun i know we did i know um we we slept in the next day i know i did because you don't realize you're like so excited right i think you're your um your adrenaline is going like your adrenaline is is um working hard and then it's over and then you just kind of like flop down on the on the couch and then you just fall asleep <laughs> so but look how cute you've got mail and then they got some of the um opal rounds as well and here's another cute one i think i showed this one as a sneak i do believe i did I think I showed this on one of my lives and made this card. I don't know if I put the, the twine, but I know I did something very similar. This one's cute. I just love doing that with the, the stencil behind there. And this one is, was inspired by Kelly Kent. And then here's the other wobble. So that was the second wobble they got. And they also got the resin hearts. There's some more of the twine they got. And then the inside, you snailed it. So cute. And look how cute this one was. I love this fun little fold that Marcy did. And I had never done that before. Tucking that underneath there. Super cute. And how fun. Oh my gosh. And it isn't it isn't it funny like i know um afterwards i'm so glad you did Jeannie. um my sister and i after the zoom was over and the day was over then my sister and i jackie she's on here she's in canada um we got on a just a zoom between the two of us and then she finished her cards and i i finished mine and because i cut two you know so you can have some to demo and everything and we were like, isn't it funny how the snails all look different just depending on the color that you color them? I mean, they all take on a totally different look. So, because this one, she definitely looks female, right? Because she's got this pink little body. And then this little guy, he looks more like a slug, you know, because of his color. But he looks more like a boy oh and i forgot to put my um because what i did was i took my white gel pen and watch this so watch what you do you take your gel pen i'm going to scoot down let me get it started and i'm going to take my little gel pen and i'm going to put a little dot there and a little dot there so now it has eyeballs but anyways, but we were just like saying, like how fun they look. And it is such a cute, cute set. So if you don't have the snail that you didn't um, do our virtual social, you definitely want to grab these because they are not carrying over. So this is super cute. There's some more of those pearls. And then look at this one. Ah! And then the inside. Isn't that fun with the little vellum envelope? Love it. And then there's some more of the hearts. So it was super, super fun. And um, so like I said, okay, so let me push those out of the way a little bit. So the next social where it's the bigger all day, it's not really all day, it's half a day um, event will be in September. So you want to make sure that you get on Marcy or I's um, mailing list. Make sure if, if, if you're here and you're not, make sure you um, let us know so you don't miss out. And um, so it's going to be Saturday, September the 25th. And um, it'll be the same way. So you'll get your, your goodie box and the mail. And then we'll do the Zoom. And then we'll have the private Facebook group. So... Um, it's, it's just so much fun. So anyways, so um, make sure you, you let us know. Now, we have not sent out a, um, 
sign up yet for this, but this is just like a save the date kind of thing, right? So you want to make sure you definitely save the date for that. But one thing that you do want to sign up for is this right here. And this is the monthly class. So we also do um, most months. Now there's some months um, like May, we won't be doing one because I'll be gone. And then um, I think July, June or July, um, Marcy's gone. So there are some months that we won't be doing the over the border class. We always personally have classes, um, but the next over the border um, virtual class is actually April, April the 24th. And you want to RSVP by April the 6th. And what it's going to be is it's the sweet ice cream virtual class. So this is the sweet ice cream stamp set. So you'll be getting that. And then it's up to you if you make it a bundle. So let me flip that over. So this is some more information. So it's going to be half to RSVP by April the 6th. And the class is Saturday, April the 24th. And it's 10 a.m to 1 p.m. That's Arizona time. So if you live in another state, you just kind of have to Google um, what time that is where you live at. And then we're doing it over the Zoom, in the private Facebook group, just like we did before. And if you um, join through me, because I'm in the, into, in the States, so if you live in the States, you'll um, do the class, join the class through me. If you're in Canada, you join the class through Marcy. And so with me, you have the option one, which is the stamp set and it's 40 and that includes the six make and takes, the priority postage, and then the private online Zoom class. If you want the bundle and that includes the punch and um, then it's 57. So you just wanna make sure you let us know, um, you know, sign up before the six. Some people have already like sent their, um, yes, sign me up. Already been hearing that. Um, because it'll be, you know, there'll, there'll be a limit. Like we can't have, um, 2000 people, you know, but, um, so anyways, if you already have the stamp set, you can substitute out one of equal value. So just keep that in mind. Don't be going, Oh, I'd love to take that, but I already have the sweet ice cream. No worries. Just use your sweet ice cream that you have at home and you pick a different one. And then that one comes with your, um, they can take supplies. So, um, so hopefully, you know, that explained, ex explained that. And then, um, if not, just let me know and, um, I'll go over it, go over it again. I have, um, I haven't done my email out, like my newsletter in announcing that yet. So you you were all the first one that saw that <laughs> so um but um like i said if you have any questions make sure you, you let me know and we love seeing everybody at the classes and it's fun because we have people from like all over canada and all over the states so it's fun to listen to the different accents and things like that and it's funny to meet somebody you're like okay well well you're from california but you don't have a california accent so it just shows, you know, it's a small world and stamping brings us all together. You know, we can have all sorts of different, um, we all live differently or whatever, but we all have that one thing in common, right? We all love stamping and, and that is, um, is, is very nice, right? So, um, so anyway, so I want to thank you for, um, joining me on today's Teach Me Tuesdays. Let me know if you have any questions and, um, I will see you tomorrow for my What You Making Wednesdays. And that will be, um, a YouTube live and that will be at two o'clock Arizona time. All right. So, um, have a great night and I will, um, see you tomorrow. Bye for now.